All right, guys, we're going to look at IXL D2, Match Causes and Effects in Informational Text. So basically, remember, a cause creates an effect. So you're looking for something that made something else happen. So I'm going to read the text, and it looks like with this example, I have the causes, and I have to see what the effect is. It says, you have probably heard of the pH scale, which measures how acidic or basic different solutions are. A solution's acidity or basicity is related to its concentrations of hydronium ions and hydroxide ions. When a strong acid is added to a solution, atoms in the solution break apart to form hydronium ions. This leads to a more acidic solution. When a strong base is added to a solution, atoms in the solution break apart to form hydroxide ions. This results in a more basic solution. So if my cause is hydronium ions form in the solution, um, I find hydronium ions. When a strong acid is added, oops, sorry. When a strong acid is added to a solution, atoms in the solution break apart to form hydronium ions. This leads to a more acidic solution. So that's my effect. And then hydroxide ions form in the solution. So when a base is added to a solution, atoms in the solution break apart to form hydroxide ions. This results in a more basic solution. So I add that here. You should be able to go back into the text and find these linked together, okay? It might cause you to reread a little bit, but that's okay. That's part of answering reading questions. This time I'm given the causes again, and then I have to identify the effects. It says, George Lucas directed and wrote the 1973 film American Graffiti a classic coming-of-age tale set in Northern California. The film cost less than $800,000 to produce, but earned more than $200 million. Because the film was such a huge success, 20th Century Fox agreed to finance Lucas's next project. Star Wars was released on May 25, 1977, and became an instant box office hit. The film's huge success resulted in the production of two sequels, The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. So because American Graffiti was a hit, because the film was such a huge success, 20th Century Films or 20th Century Fox agreed to finance Lucas's next project, which was Star Wars. So right here, 20th Century Fox committed money for Lucas's next film. Um, Star Wars was a hit. The film's huge success resulted in the production of two sequels. So I put that right there. That makes sense. There we go. All right, here's the next one. This time I'm given the effect and I have to figure out what caused this to happen. For years, fishermen in Bali used dynamite and cyanide to catch fish, which had the effect of destroying coral reefs in the area. In 2000, though, the BioRock Reef Restoration Project began. Under normal conditions, a reef forms when polyps put down layers of calcium carbonate. In the BioRock process, a low electric current is sent through steel structures under ocean water which causes calcium carbonate to form. Polyps attached to bio rock structures use the energy then they would have spent building calcium carbonate and instead devote it to growing and fighting disease. The bio rock reefs therefore grow faster than regular reefs. So what caused the coral reefs to collapse? So this says, destroying coral reefs in the area, which would be collapsing. So fishermen use dynamite, dynamite and cyanide, and that's right here, and that caused those coral reefs to collapse. 
Let's see if this then makes sense here. Bio rock allows polyps to save energy and they grow more rapidly. Let's see. Bio rock structures use the energy they would have spent building calcium carbonate and instead devote it to growing and fighting disease. The bio rock reefs therefore grow faster than regular reefs. So that checks out. Put that there. And there you go. In April 2016, the city of Boston and the nonprofit organization Mass Poetry wanted to commemorate National Poetry Month. For this reason, the two entities joined forces to create Raining Poetry, an art installation featuring poems on Boston's city sidewalks. The poems were installed using biodegradable, water resistant spray paint and stencils. When the weather is dry, the poems are visible, invisible. However, when it begins to rain, the sidewalks get wet and darken, except in the places where the paint repels the water. As a consequence, the poems appear glistening through the grain drops. So the effect was raining poetry is conceived. So let's see. Mass Poetry wanted to commemorate National Poetry Month. For this reason, okay, so the city of Boston and the nonprofit organization Mass Poetry wanted to commemorate National Poetry Month. For this reason, the two entities joined forces to create reigning poetry. So this one matches that. Um, poems are revealed when the sidewalks get wet and darken. So that checks out. There we go. Hopefully you're kind of seeing how I do this. Um, hopefully you're noticing that even when I'm pretty sure I'm correct, I still go back and check just because it's easier to just check than to worry about if I'm right or wrong. We're going to jump ahead a little bit and show you one that has three. So it says, Russian novelist Leo Tolstoy was born in Russia in 1828. After jumping, dropping out of university, Tolstoy returned to his family's estate to work as a farmer. His attempt at farming was a failure, so he joined the army and fought in the Crimean War. Between battles, he began writing and published three books, Childhood, Boyhood, and Sevastopol Tales. After the war ended, Tolstoy eventually returned to Russia, married, and wrote what are regor regarded as his two greatest novels, War and Peace and Anna Karina. Due to the overwhelming success of these books, Tolstoy became wealthy. Despite his financial prosperity, he eventually fell into depression and began to question his true purpose in life. He turned to the church for answers but wasn't satisfied. As a result of his struggle, Tolstoy developed his own spiritual beliefs. So we've got three causes here and three effects. So why did he join the army? It says he returned to his family estate to work as a farmer but his attempt at farming was a failure, so he joined the army. Um, so he failed as a farmer. Toy Tolstoy became wealthy. Where did it say he became wealthy? Due to the overwhelming success of these books, so I look back, War and Peace and Anna Karina, um, Tolstoy became wealthy, so Tolstoy wrote several successful novels. Tolstoy developed his own beliefs. Um, he turned to the church for answers but wasn't satisfied. As a result of this struggle, Tolstoy developed his own spiritual beliefs. And I'm going to just check and make sure that my answers make sense before I hit submit. Okay, so I was okay. Um... Sometimes it'll even do this where you're not looking just for causes or effects. You're looking at kind of a combo. So this one says, in 1882, Prussian doctor Robert Koch dis discovered the bacterium 
that causes tuberculosis, an infectious disease that mainly affects the lungs. At the same time, doctors began to understand that microscopic organisms, not dirty air, cause some diseases. As a result of Koch's work, it was understood that tuberculosis was contagious. Health officials wanted to stop the disease from spreading, so public health campaigns were launched in the United States and Europe. Oddly, many campaigns warned that women's fashions could spread the disease. At the time, long skirts that trailed along the ground were in fashion. It was believed that these floor-length skirts picked up germs on dirty streets and brought them into the home. Consequently, skirt hemlines were raised several inches at the beginning of the 1900s, ushering in a new fashion trend. So Koch isolated the tuberculosis bacterium as the cause. And what did that do? Um, let's see. As a result, discovered the bacterium that causes tuberculosis, an infectious disease that mainly affects the lungs. At the same time, as a result of Koch's work, it was understood that tuberculosis was determined to be contagious. In effect, public health warnings were issued in the United States and Europe. So where does it talk about? So public health campaigns were launched in the United States from in Europe. What caused that? Health officials wanted to stop the, to the disease from spreading. So doctors wanted to prevent the spread of tuberculosis. Let's see if this makes sense. People believed long skirts spread disease. Long skirts that trailed the ground were in fashion. It was believed these floor-length skirts picked up germs on dirty streets and brought them home. So skirt hemlines were raised several inches. They were shortened. Okay, so that's about as tricky as it gets. Um, you have to take your time, and it's good to look, again, at making sure that you have the correct answer, that you can find it in the passage. Good luck.